What is up YouTube? Today I have a 10 minute mobilizing mood boosting routine, which is perfect for those of us who are at home and may be finding ourselves more sedentary than we want to be. All you need is 10 minutes to get your heart rate up and going. If you're doing a gym workout or anything of the sort, this video is also great to just use as a warm up. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that if you are just starting your fitness journey or you've been on a fitness journey, you don't have to do this alone. Comment below, let people know where you're at and help me build a community together. You can also find me on Instagram, tag me there, and I'd love to share your progress and your journey wherever you may be. So for today's warm up, all you're going to need is some open space and a mat for comfort. Once you have all that, meet me back here and I'm going to get us started. All right, first move, crunches, laying flat on your back, fingertips at your hips, and we crunch up fingertips to the knees. For an added challenge, you can actually lift your feet off the ground, put the fingertips behind your ear, not behind your head, because as you get tired, you may start pulling your neck. We don't want that. And from here, crunch up with your feet in the air. Our first active rest, jumping jacks. So remember, this is gonna pass by really fast and the goal of this is to just get our blood going, get the heart rate going. Meet me in a plank position, downward dog, toe tap. From here, push back, opposite hand to opposite foot, back to plank, other side. Just like that, at a slow and steady pace, or if you feel up for it, pick up the pace here. feet, high knee march. So from here, opposite hand, opposite knee, make it in sync, make it pretty. We're really just trying to get our whole body mobilized. Back down to the plank position, mountain climbers. Let's have fun with this one. Let's do a few reps fast, and now follow it up with a few reps slow. If you need a number, think four. One, two, three, four, fast. One, two, three, four, slow, and then repeat. Just like that, I'm right here with you. Keep breathing. move cross over jacks you may have done this before but here jumping jack hands in front hands up top just like that nice from the top of your mat step back reverse lunge make sure your chest is upright legs are contracted feel that in your quads and your glutes rest here high knee hops we're gonna hop on one foot three times and then switch it over to the other side holding a high knee when you're holding this high knee position contract your core squeeze it all right down to the ground modified burpees what does this look like from the plank position push up 
walk your hands back in, stand straight up, squat, and then go back down to the plank position, just like that. So we're not jumping here. We're just standing up, squat, and coming back down. Still getting the full benefits of a full body workout from burpees, just minus the high the impact jump. End, yeah, about time we stop pretending. into our next active rest here, Arnold Jacks. So if you've ever done Arnold presses, just like that, hands out in front, except this time, you're gonna shoot them straight up during a jumping jack. The way you're touching me around my neck, got chills down my back. All right, down to the ground, high plank, toe tap. So from this high plank position, you're not gonna go down. Instead, you're gonna hold this, and you're gonna sweep your leg forward, tap the toe, and switch to the other side. If you need to, adjust real quick and make sure you have the space to do this motion. Keep your leg as straight as possible. With that being said, the only way to do this motion is to really use your core to bring that leg up. Time to go home. Don't want this night to end. Yeah, about time we stop pretending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, back onto our feet, high knee march. Hang out here with me, it's almost over. Down to the ground, starfish crunch. Laying flat on your back like a starfish. From here, opposite hand, opposite feet, and switch. Let's do some crossover jacks. Enjoy this active rest. Keep that heart rate up. We're almost at the finish line. Meet me in this high plank position. We have side plank twists. So from here, feet and hands planted. We're gonna lift one side up, bring the fingertips, point them at the ceiling, come back down and switch. Keep breathing, keep breathing. I'm right here with you. Back on our feet, high knee hops. You know what this looks like now. Hop, 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 switch side. Hop, hop, hop. All right, staying on our feet. Meet me in a squat hold, and we're gonna pulse this out here. If you need to at any moment, feel free to come out of the squat position, and when you feel ready, sit right back into it. Nice, from here, jumping jacks, good old jumping jacks, no crazy form, you know what this looks like. Meet me here in your back, we're gonna finish this workout off with boat holds. 
to get the right form. Cannonball position from here. Shoot the feet out, shoot the hands up, hollow body hold on your back. Make sure your back is pressed, hips lifted, back is lifted, hands off the ground. Breathe, smooth out the breath. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Almost there. Keep breathing. Back on our feet. Crossover jacks. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool. But when you need, there's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in, I know it's true. And time. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my quick 10 minute mood boosting routine. I hope this helps you as a quick pick me up. And honestly, you can use this as a quick warm up for your workout or like as intended, if you've been sitting at a desk all day long, I hope this helps really get the joints going, get the blood going, get your heart rate going. But again, guys, thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you. I'm Jeremy and I'll see you next time. Peace.